Hello friends, my name is Palash and today I am going to present about the basic principle of GMP for equipment. Please be with me, this is the one of the critical topic today I am going to discuss. Before going towards my main presentation, I would like to request you all to subscribe my channel PRES Press Pharmaceutical Resource and Education Services and press the bell icon to get notifications of my all upcoming new videos. I will go next. So first of all I will talk about the design. Equipment must be located, designed, constructed, adapted and maintained to shoot the operation to be carried out. So this is a very important one. The intended purpose of selecting any equipment that should fulfill all the requirement of the manufacturing or the formulations whatever we are considering. The layout and the design of equipment must aim to minimize risks of error and permit effective cleaning and maintenance in order to avoid cross-contamination, buildup of dust or dirt and in general any adverse effect on the quality of product. So I feel this is a basic requirement where we are talking about a cross contaminations, where we are talking about sometimes sterility assurance when we come into the business of injectables. So equipment design is one of the critical aspect, you know, to safeguard our product from major cross contaminations. We should check that the cleaning and everything can be done adequately and people should approach, should reach to the locations that need to be clean. It can be an automatic process, cleaning can be a manual process. Considering both the scenario, we should be very cautious when we will be selecting such equipment. Equipment should be installed in such a way as to minimize any risks or error or contaminations. So here from this photograph we can see when we are talking about any kind of vessels different kind of designs are adapted based on the requirement we can see figure number one, figure number two, three. So the requirement and design based on the intended purpose but it should allow people, those who look, people, those who are going to maintain your system, clean your system, monitor your system. It may possible some of your pressure gauge will be installed top of the vessel, which cannot be visible, uh, you know, uh, from from the floor. So such design need to be adapted, which will give you a flawless system. We'll go next again so now we are talking about the different kind of piping work so you know systems are very much complex we, we we talk about different kind of utility source so fixed piping should to be clearly leveled to indicate the the contents and where applicable the direction of flow it's very important so we have a supply of different kind of critical utilities like sometimes cold water system hot water system raw steam compressor so it is very much important you should have color indicator whether it is hot whether it is chilled we should have a directions from where the solutions liquid or gases is getting flowed all service pipe work and devices should to be adequately marked and special attention paid uh, to the provision of non-interchangeable connections or adapters for dangerous gases and liquids so it's it's very 
critical for a set safety aspect of your product and as well as the personal working in your premises measurable cages your process system or equipment will have number of measurable cages from where we'll try to get the informations about a process it can be a load cells which will give you the measurement it can be a pressure gauge it can be a conductivity sensor it can be a dio probe anything so the balance and other measuring equipments of a appropriate range and precision should to be available for product and control operation and should to be calibrated according to the fixed schedule even laboratory equipment and instrument should to be suitable to the testing procedure undertaken next one is cleanability washing cleaning and drying equipment should to be chosen and used so as not to be a source of contamination so again we talk about the design where the machine should to be cleanable people should approach the area they need to be clean by manually or if it is a automatic process then system and process should to be allow to clean the system and make it ready for the next process so this is one of the very critical aspect if we cannot able to access not able to clean a system it will it will always uh, increase the chance of contaminations production equipment should not present a, any hazard or product so we are talking about a residue so our design is not such a way it will allow the product need to be remain on the surfaces so where we talk about certain design like uh, electro polish uh, the ra refraction value uh, even uh, slope of the equipment right so different kind of design parameter we talk about so we, we should not allow to keep residue on the equipment surfaces and it it will allow to clean the equipment very efficiently the part of the equipment that come into the contact of the product must not be reactive additive or absorptive to any extent that would affect the quality of product normally 316 and 316 ail uh, ss surfaces are excellent uh, they shown the efficiency uh, in this regards now we'll talk about maintenance Def defective equipment should to be removed from the production and qc area if it is not possible it should to be clearly label and as defective to prevent use so this is very important so we we got couple of 483s in this regard where the equipment are available in the shop floor and they are not properly label whether it is in use or it is in defective it may happen your equipment is big enough and you need to break a wall or separate some area to remove the equipment and it takes some time for resin change control and maintenance purpose it's fine you properly level it so people should not take any chance to operate that machine that can be hazardous for the people and as well as product as well closed equipment should to be used whenever appropriate where open equipment is used or equipment is opened precaution should to be taken to minimize the contaminations even i would like to add you should ensure even your equipment is clean before starting of any process you should clean as per your batch manufacturing practices and then if you should proceed for the operation in case your equipment has been stored for long due to not in use non dedicated equipment should to be clean according to the validated cleaning procedure between 
being used for the production for different pharmaceutical product to prevent cross contaminations so this non dedicated equipment means a share equipment what those are the equipment which contribute for couple of product manufacturing so in that case so one of the cleaning validation attribute where we need to check that the product residue does not remain on the surfaces and the limit of the product residue within the specified limit it should not contaminate the next process or production current drawing and critical equipment and support system should to be maintained we go on changes uh, as a part of uh, our modification the systems sometimes we ignore to revise the drawing with the current installations so it is very important to keep the drawings in the current state that's all uh, about the gmp aspe uh, aspect of equipment today we have discussed uh, we will be looking for your feedback thank you very much